Hello students, uh, we welcome back today. Uh, we will have our first live section through Collaborate uh, Ultra at six o'clock today. I'm just gonna go through the steps how to get into the uh, section this uh, evening, just a few hours here. So you will click on live section here where it says clicking here. And then about 5.45, it will be open already. So today's April 14, at 6 p.m. You can click in here. And once you click in there, it's going to ask you to join this section. Okay. Now, moving forward, I'm going to click where it says send weekly assignments. And we are starting this week on week seven. And so you will have to do the complete access module three pages, access 53 through access 69. And that's the hands on step by step. Now, where it says complete the visual workshop. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, delete this. We're not in class. This is when we have the face-to-face -face classes. Um, obviously, we're doing everything online. And so after that, I'm going to have you complete the independent challenges, uh, which is one and two, and of course, the uh, quiz access module three, okay? Uh, using forms. So I'm just going to go through some of those um, objectives of how to split the uh, actual form and things like that, how to get into the layout view. Uh, there's different things to do forms uh, using uh, creating calculations and things like that. So I'm just going to go through them. Our class starts today, today is uh, the 14th, and you have until next Tuesday in the morning by April 21st to complete with 7. So at the end, uh, you will submit three access databases which is the first one the hands-on and then the last two will be the independent challenges one and two and of course don't forget about the quiz i'm going to uh, move to access but first please remember that you in blackboard you will have to click on student database over here and then you will download in order to get to those uh, data files that you need obviously to work in this project so open my already which is the r2g3 database to complete the hand sign so one of the things that they're going to ask you as you can see we have the tables here we have the queries forms and reports so pretty much everything is done here so they just ask me to work a little bit with forms because obviously this is the uh using forms module that we're going through which are this over here okay so one of the things they're going to ask you to click on the uh the three by category let's just say this is just an example and they're going to ask you to click on layout view so when you do that it's going to take you to a different view okay and so you will have different tools here to work with and you can also click the add existing fields and that's one of the things we're going to ask you to do and then you will have uh, the field list that obviously these are your fields here and i'm going to click on show all tables meaning so as you can see this is a navigation pane we have reports we have forms we have queries and we also have tables so we have a lot of things this little plus signs that means there is a relationship between more um in two three tables together they have a relationship means that we can actually run a report from two or three uh, tables at the same time which means is that sometimes we have one or two big tables but we want to merge them and that's the relationship and that's why you have these plus signs over here that means they already did the relationship um just to run a few things from each of the database and then run one report so when you do a relationship remember is that you have two entirely different databases you make a relationship so that you can grab two or three items from one database another two three items from the second uh, database and then have one report so that's a really nice to do within access moving forward another thing they're going to ask you to do here is to actually um, use the form wizard so let's pretend that we don't have i'm going to close this app this object over here this object over here i'm going to click on categories over here and let's say that they're asking you to create a form from categories let's pretend that we don't have it so I'm just going to click on category table. You can click on state, whatever that is. I'm just going to click on categories and then I'm going to say form. And then when you do that, your form is already um, done. Okay, so you have the forms right here. Um, so that's how you do forms. Um, I'm going to do another one on sales and I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to click on create again and I'm going to do forms. Okay, so that's the form for the sales. So that's how you do forms. 
Um, and then the other thing they're going to ask you to do is to create a split form. So what that is, uh, let's say that I'm going to click on customers. I'm going to close this up. Um, I'm not going to change that. Um, I'm not going to save these forms that I did. I think I have too many already. Close. Say no. Um, I'm going to click on customer, which I am, and then I'm going to click on create. And then under the forms groupings, remember you're going to have different groups over here. You're going to click on more forms and then you're going to say split form. And what that gave you, they're going to split this window in terms of the actual form and then the data. Okay, within access. And then you can also get the property sheets and add uh, existing fields. So if you do existing fields, again, this is something that there is a relationship with other tables and that's why you have them available here. Okay. So here on their cells, you have different things. And so it really depends on what the table. So for example, for description, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it to the form. This is another way to just, um, oops, this is not going to allow me. I think I have to do it individually. Never mind. Um, so here, I'm going to close the add existing fields and then I'm going to click on property sheets. There you go. And this is where you have to go and do different things here, uh, depending on the criteria that they want you to change here. Okay. So anytime you open a form, remember you're going to have form layouts tools which is going to give you the sign tab arrange tab and then also as well the format tab okay so for example i'm going to click on one of the forms i'm going to right click again i'm going to go to layout view there you go i'm going to close the property sheet navigation pane i don't need it anymore and then over here you have all these tools that they're going to ask you to do okay um also under format um, you, you have to click on some of these things in, in order to, to work with them. Uh, they're going to ask you to delete uh, some of these columns, uh, just like within Excel. Uh, we need a lot of... Remember, you have a little bit more of those tabs in here because uh, anytime you open different forms, you're going to have a form layout tool with different tabs. So here you give you from the design, arrange, format, design, arrange again and format and also the page setup because this particular form is actually a table so they're giving you different options to work with okay even if you want to insert more um, columns or row things like that so there's different things that they're going to ask you to do one of the things as i mentioned before was to create the form uh, to use the form layout view which we did remember you can click on any of it and just say layout view okay and you can also go back to design view all right and the design view would allow you to move things around so let's say the category here if they want you to change it or you can actually make it a little you know you can play with it a little bit so that would be remember you have two views and the design view this is where you can make changes to the text boxes that are already there for you let's see what else um Property sheets, I told you where that is. Um, modifying the controls are moving around some, I'm not going to move this, but moving around some of this, uh, the description or, you know, making it larger, making it smaller. There's different things that you can do here. I'm going to go back to layout view, which is just the view. Uh, now I'm going to go back to, uh, let's work with the trip table. So here, uh, remember, this is home. This is our just data sheet view but if you want to change something within this uh, database we will have to go and this is where all of the uh, field names and then the data type um, will be if you wanted to add more to it uh, at this point remember I'm hoping that in the class of Optic 101 you already went through uh, most of these tools uh, in order to do forms are not really hard to do or uh, queries or reports but this uh, mashup was specifically to work with forms so hopefully you like creating these forms um, and making it work okay if you have any questions please uh, let me know thank you